They're fighting a war here and they're losing. The sheer numbers of people succumbing to the coronavirus is overwhelming every hospital in northern Italy. The staff are working flat out trying to keep these people from deteriorating further. They're trying to stop them from dying. This isn't an intensive care unit, it's an emergency ward. The ICU is full. People have only just arrived here and they're in terrible shape. This is an absolute constant. This killer pandemic is virtually out of control. The patients are literally gasping for air. The plastic bubbles the staff struggle to communicate through attempt to equalize the air pressure in the lungs. Nobody expected this. Nobody thought they'd be treating so many so quickly. And it's not like flu. It is chronic pneumonia, and it is killing hundreds each day. There are now 15 patients. The doctors say they've seen nothing like it before and are warning other countries, especially the United Kingdom, that they will see it as well. People have keep describing this as like flu. It's worse than that, no? No, it's, 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 it's totally another thing. I think it's most pneumonia, most pneumonia than, uh, than flu, mm -hmm. because mo most people get pneumonia. And, and uh, as I said before, it's a very severe pneumonia. And so it's a massive, uh, massive strength for, for uh, uh, every health system, because we see every day 50 to 60 patients who come to our emergency department with pneumonia, and most of them are so severe, they, are, they need a very high FiO2 of oxygen. Mm -hmm. And so it's, we have to reorganize uh, our emergency room and our hospital in three levels of intensity, as, as, you, as you saw. This is the main hospital in Bergamo, in Lombardy province. It's one of the most advanced hospitals in Europe. But it's the most hard hit of all the hospitals in Italy. The town is the center of the epidemic here. This isn't a ward, this is a waiting room. Wherever you go, people are on gurneys, in corridors, in meeting rooms, they're everywhere. All the medical staff urge other nations to see what's happening and lock their nations down right now or face this. What I would suggest is just shut down to stop all the outbreak and uh, not come in this kind of situation that is very, very difficult to manage. Can I ask you personally what it's been like? I never felt so stressed in my life. I, I'm an intensivist and I'm quite used to, you know, in, intense uh, movement and uh, choices and uh, um, people are critical and will die without any, you know, treatment and you make the difference. But when you arrive at this point, you realize that you are not enough. And maybe all the, we, we are 100 anesthetists here. We are doing our best, but maybe it's not. Is not enough. We are performing the, the, the test for the nasal swab uh -huh. to detect uh, uh, coronavirus. The problem facing health services across the world is that when the infection curve goes up, it rockets and all the resources, all the testing, all the supplies are used up instantly. Multiple hospitals all at once. What's staggering is that Italy is doing a lot, a lot of testing. Thousands of from thousands are being tested. So far, about 4,000, the numbers keep changing, have actually completely recovered. The crucial point is that about the same number are dying. They're sort of neck and neck. And it seems you either live and recover or you die. Something nobody expected. Bergamo wanted us to see this to show what a catastrophic emergency nobody has experienced before looks like. Here they're calling it the apocalypse. And this 
is what it looks like. And their message to us is simple. Get ready.